we're back. Ugh. And where we last left off, I was had some really scuffed audio because my dumbass didn't realize that the audio wasn't on. Again, I clearly don't want this YouTube thing to work. And I'm sorry that I am bad at this shit. Y yeah. Y yeah, I'll get good at this entire YouTube thing eventually. No, I won't. Who the fuck am I kidding? But, uh, uh, anything to really talk about in the video game industry? Mm, no. Let's just talk about the entertainment industry. So, I recently just came off of watching Guardians of the Galaxy 3, and honestly, it's... Okay, so I didn't really like Guardians of the Galaxy 2. I Ego just didn't do it for me as a villain, and I... It just... It just didn't hit like the first one did, but 3? 3 has now cemented my feelings about superhero movies. I don't need every single movie to be this world-ending threat of how if they don't save the world, everything's gonna fall to shit, and that I don't need that over and over and over and over again. I've after watching Guardians of the Galaxy 3, without getting into spoilers, I now clearly heavily prefer just to have a self-contained world where these heroes are just trying to do their best to like solve their own personal problems, grow as people, learn about their backstories. This, especially, this and Wakanda, and Wakanda 2 have, like, hard cemented that for me. Since there were, like, two, maybe three fight scenes the entire movie. I'm not gonna lie, there's a really badass hallway fight scene that's, like, old boy cross Marvel, and it's really neat to watch. But the entire movie is just, like, them just trying to become better people. Almost, well, not even better people, they're already good people at this point. But just trying to, like, come into themselves. And it's just this really good note overall like every single step of the way just kind of makes makes me smile also with the story focusing on rock raccoon holy fucking shit his backstory is depressing god damn also something they haven't done in a while in marvel movies just an unrepentant piece of shit as a villain like you know, I don't mind the Thanoses every once in a while, but when every single villain is supposed to be playing, oh man, I have this other side that you're not really seeing, you gotta sympathize with me kind of thing. It gets kind of old after a while, and I do appreciate that, I do like it, but doing it over and over and over and over again kind of starts to cause fatigue. The main villain of this movie is just garbage. He has no redeeming qualities, so when he gets his ass kicked at the end, it was like, yep, Yep, no one's sad about this. No one's gonna argue. Yep, we are enjoying every single minute of this fucking beatdown. Keep, you should beat the shit out of him even harder. But yeah, good movie. I honestly liked it a lot more than two. And I'm not sure if I like it more than one, per se. I think I kind of put one and three in the same regard for the most part. They're both good. Like, really good for different and opposite reasons. But yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy 3 was a good movie. I, I can honestly suggest it. Yeah, either way, let's continue with this. Uh, what should I be doing today? Let's see, it's Sunday, so tomorrow we're going on our beach trip, right? Yes. So tomorrow we're going on our beach trip. What can I do today? Uh, I guess we can go to the shrine and keep trying to raise up our social links. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Actually, let me head over to the station first. Uh, sorry. And feed the cat again. Meow. We're gonna give you super cat food. Get starting to eat. Meow, meow. Very loudly. And we'll over and come back. I should need to only do it one more time now. And then we're gonna go to the shrine. Uh, what confident are you again, my guy? You are... Girl at Shrine. Have I not opened your social link yet? Look for my phone tag. Please let me find the press creature with the white bird by the kidnapping. Oh, right, I have to wait for, uh, Koromaru to find your pen. Got it. Uh, screw it. Let's go raise up lovers. Friends. Yukari Takuma. Blessing to the Believer. 
Nice. Hey, there we go. Cool, five dollars. At least I didn't get robbed this time, thank god. And then we're gonna go over to Paolo Momo. Hang out with the tower more, even though I still don't have Elegor yet. Ugh. God, I'm just missing out on games right now. What's up, old man? Oh, it's you. You're by yourself. Yes! Hello, strange kid. They say there's men about courage and women are about charm, but I think it's the other way around. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I didn't realize I'd be able to raise it up again. I thought I didn't have enough points for it, but apparently I do. So... <sighs> anyway, well, you're attractive enough. Anyone will open up to you, you know. You spend time with the... Oh, okay, so yeah, that's him just ranting on about the next increase. Understandable. Your trip to Yakushi uh, uh, Yakushima begins today and lasts for four days and three nights. Time for you to get ready. Inside the Yakushima bound ferry, you will soon arrive at Yakushima. Awesome! There it is! Yakushima! Wow, so many tropical plants. Huh. Take a look at that one. <sighs> mm. Oh god, that mystery is still heavy. Um... It's totally amazing, huh? Man, this is so awesome! I'm not even kidding! Junpei-kun. Oh, Junpei. You know what, I respect yeah. him. I respect him trying. Here's your family Yakushima mansion. Wow. It's like we're in an episode of Lifestyles of the Rich and Fabulous. I mean, technically that's what she Welcome is. Welcome back, me. lady. We won't be here long, but I'll be relying on you during our stay. You have maids? And you must be her schoolmates, correct? Welcome to the Kirijo vacation home. Hi. Please follow me. Um, is this the right place? Dude. Real life maids. I knew she was from an important family, but this definitely confirms it. I mean, she has an entire school under her mantle, and they were able to afford an entire island. So, what do you expect? Hmm. <laughs> Look at this edgy looking, <laughs> impressive looking gentleman. A man walked in from the far. It's good to see you. Oh, he left. Was that. Her father? Dude, talk about scary. He's her. not gonna make us walk the plank, is he? Eh. Don't be stupid. <laughs> we won't be here long, but make yourself at home. Sweet, this is gonna rock. Hey, you wanna go to the beach? It's right there. Dude, this place rules. Come on, let's go. What, already? Are you surprised? I mean, sure, but let me get changed first. Then I'll see you there. I'm not gonna waste a single minute. <laughs> How does this look like? Well, I mean, we don't get to see the actual cutscenes because subpar port. But yeah, what does the female side of this look like? A transient year swimsuit arriving at the beach. You see Junpei and Akihiko talking. <sighs> Got my sandals on, giving my feet a chance to breathe. Yep, summer's here. You can tell, even at a distance, that Yunpei is extremely excited. Ugh, could he be any louder? But yikes, what's with Akihiko Senpai's swimsuit? I can feel my face getting red just looking at it. Oh right, he wears like a Speedo, because it's like, why do I care? Yo, about time you guys got here. Huh? Something wrong, Yukari? That's a uh, pretty... <laughs> small swimsuit <laughs> I don't what's with the Emperor characters just like willing to bear it all well to be fair in Persona 3 when you're playing with the male protag he's Emperor so and then Persona 4 you have Kanji Katsumi who's like who's what kind of swimsuit do you have oh it's it's a speedo it's a Titan built for speed <laughs> uh, what 
Don't you know? Swimsuits like this reduce water resistance and... Oh, that's okay. It doesn't need to be justified. Hey, Junpei, what's the matter? You look even dumber than usual. Man, talk about a feast for the eyes. <laughs> the, the line... There's like no line to like show us... Look where his chin is, right? There's no line to show where his chin starts and his neck, or his uh, his chin starts and his neck ends, and they just connect together. Yukatan's wearing a more aggressive model than I had imagined. Told you. Babe. Could her boldness come from the confidence that her club training has toned her bod? What? And check out our leader. She's one cute mermaid herself. Now, if only those we could... curves now, she usually keeps covered are looking good. I can't tear my eyes away! Junpei. <laughs> I think canonically the answer she would say is yes, actually. Thanks. Man, the beach is so great. I love this place. Is that umbrella taken? Oh, and here we have the lovely Miss Yamagishi. I, I swear, I swear he becomes... Great. Just just give us some time, guys. I promise. Wow, Fuka. I had no idea you were so... I mean, you should wear a swimsuit more often. Huh? Oh, oh come on. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. <laughs> Stop that creepy laugh, you perv. Oh, my God, you perv. And here's our final contestant. Hmm? Is something wrong? Why do you look Wow. Mitsura Senpai, you're beautiful. What's with the flower? Yeah, your skin is flawless. Did you already put on sunscreen? No, not yet. Psst, Akihiko Senpai, level with me. Which one's your type? <laughs> huh? Really? K keep your voice down. Man, really? No joke? What are you two smirking about? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Wait. Okay. I forgot. What does Akihiko say there? Let's see. What the hell is Akihiko? No. What the shit, dude? Oh, there's no real explanation. Or does he not? I can't remember if he says it or not in the normal version. Nah, I can't remember. I don't feel like doing it. Man, amazing. this is great. I'm in heaven. Oh, quick, perfect. How about a swim? Ba 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 ba! Charge! Oh, Junpei. Whoa! I'm not letting you win that easy. Feeling easy as if someone's watching you. Whoa, it's cold! <laughs> Jesus Christ, Akihiko. <laughs> Everyone's gonna be having fun. That's a good thing, I guess. Our operation is during the dark hour for the last wrestling. You should relax a bit and rest up. Under the parasol is the optimal place. Uh, this is such a nice place. What if Stu had to be here and spoil it all? Damn. That's why I tried to help, Jupez. Ah! Uh, you like it? You like that? What was supposed to splashing girls at the beach? You're gonna... Oh, you're gonna pay for that. Take this. Thank you, Mr. Rizzo. I think he's I can die right now with no regrets. Isn't this place nice? You remember when I was young. I don't remember it looking quite like this. Forest. Where are you going? Never play alone at the beach. Eh, it's a good idea, actually. You leaving already? Eh, of course not. You had me worried. The beach we're talking about. She said the key to the work you asked for. Oh, that's what Katona in a bikini looks like. Alright, fair enough. I think I actually have to leave here. Do they still include the cutscene where Junpei and Akihiko just fail to... Aw, oh, you suck. I'm gonna stay a little longer. Later, man.
Meanwhile, the interest of the Kyrogen Mansion. It's been a while. I'm glad that you're in good health. Our guests are residents of the dorm, I presume. I'm sorry for bringing such a crowd. I heard you told them about the incident. Why did you hide it so long? I wasn't hiding it. I've told you time and again. None of the blame is yours. But... Two in harmony surpasses one in perfection. That has been our guiding principle since the Kurijo family separated from the Nanjo group. Hmm. You must learn to trust in others, Mitsuru. There are things in this world that cannot be accomplished alone, no matter how many sacrifices you make. Isn't that so strange? She like looks like he'd be the kind of person like, you gotta work on your own and strive to be the best no matter what. And it's like, no, nah, he's like, dude, just let people in, man. Working together is, is the way. It's how you get shit done. Come on, man. Yes, father. You accessed our database, didn't you? That's another thing. Why didn't you ask me directly instead of using this trip as an excuse? I'm, I'm sorry. Bring them here. All of them. I had no intention of concealing the truth from them. I've made preparations to disclose everything. Everything? There's a girl named Takaba in your group, correct? For her to awaken to her power, it must be fate. Father? The Kurito group, Yakushima Mansion reception room. They want us to gather after a sudden invitation from his serious father. From what I understand, Mitsuru has already given you the short version. Oh, yes. Well, it's true. We adults are to blame. If I could have atoned for it with my life, I would have done so. Now, I have no choice but to rely on you. What my father wanted to create with those monsters' power was a time manipulation device. That's what he was trying to do? Imagine, if you could control the flow of time, eliminate unwanted events before they occur. With such a device, you could shape the future to your liking. Damn, that's insane. However, under my father's direction, the research began to stray from its original goal. In his later years, my father seemed to have only nihilism in his heart. That concept will come in important later trust me now that i think about it his madness may have resulted from his struggle to break free from that personally i always found nihilism such an interesting carnal concept because i see like i kind of embrace the positive side nihilism like yeah nothing matters so i might as well enjoy our time here as opposed to the nothing matters just dread every second nah man well i mean uh, overall kind of things everything's kind of pointless but no reason to fret over it just kind of embrace it and move on you know it's only natural that you want to know the truth. And it's my duty to tell you. Old footage is being played in a large monitor in the room. What's this? This is the only existing footage of the accident. Recorded by a scientist who was at the scene. A video recording? It looks like the scene of an accident. Video quality is poor, making the shown man's face unrecognizable. I pray that this recording reaches safe hands. That voice! My employer has become obsessed with a loathsome idea. And this experiment should have never even been conceived. I'm afraid what I've done will result in an unprecedented disaster. But if I hadn't, the entire world may have paid the price. The entire world? Please, listen carefully. The shadows that were amassed here have been dispersed as a result of the explosion. To end this nightmare, you must eliminate all of them. I am to blame for this. I knew the risks, but I was blinded by the promise of success. And so I didn't raise any objections. It is all my fault. Hey look, it's her father. Huh? The man was visible on the screen for a brief moment before the video ended after a large explosion. Dad? You mean... that was... Father. His name was Eiichiro Takaba. He was the head researcher at the time. 
A very talented man, but we are the ones who are responsible. We pushed him to continue the research. The Kirijo group is to blame for his death. I... I can't believe it. So, that means my dad caused it all? Not really, no. The Dark Hour, Tartarus, the people who died in that incident? Not really, no. He was just working on it, dude. It was all his fault? N no. Uh, you okay? So that's why you were hiding this? Because you felt sorry for me? Is that it? No, Takiba, I... I don't want your pity! Yukari Rin. Takiba! Uh. Um, shouldn't someone go after her? <sighs> Show me. Please, go after her. Understands. Thank you. You decided to have Yukari. I believed in him for so long. Oh, this is too much. You found Yukari standing at the beach. If it's not blatantly obvious, we didn't get the full story. Because, duh. Tone. Remember what I told you at the hospital? How my dad died when I was little? You understand now, right? He died in that incident. Nobody knew the truth, so there were all sorts of rumors. Because he was in charge of the research team, people were really mean to me and my mom. We even had to move a few times. I see. But all this time, I kept telling myself it wasn't his fault. Spoilers, it's not. I loved him a lot, and I believed he'd never do anything wrong. I received a letter back in the spring. It was from him, written ten years ago. It cracked me up, because even though it said to my family, it was pretty much all about me. That only made me believe in him more. When I found out I had a special power, I thought it was fate. I was scared. But I thought if I cooperated with the Kirijo group, I might find out what really happened. That's why I agreed to fight using my persona. But it turns out, all of that was for nothing. No, it literally wasn't. That's not true. Yeah, that's literally not true. <laughs> You're just trying to make me feel better. You have literally saved- Why does reality have to be so harsh? You literally saved hundreds of thousands of people. Are we gonna sit here like, like you didn't save anyone with that train shit? I tried so hard to fight my fear, and this is what I get. Maybe I'm just jealous of Mitsuru Senpai. I mean, why my father and not hers? Bit. I'm a horrible person, aren't I? It's a bit fucked up. That's how people are. Stop acting like you have all the answers. I don't. In order to act like I... I'm sorry. My head's a mess. I'm so afraid. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm totally lost. The right thing. Tell me. What should I do? Take your time. Tony. I'm sorry for acting like this. You've lost your parents, too. But... I'm alright now. I'm used to dealing with stressful situations. Thanks. Kari's crying. Her eyes are red from... Is laughing. Her eyes are red from crying. Hey! <sighs> Sheesh! What's taking you so long? Everybody's waiting. It's almost the dark hour, so you should get back. I almost forgot. It doesn't matter where you are when the dark hour comes. Sheesh, it's just common sense. Even I remembered. You know, I've been thinking lately. Once you awaken to the power of Persona, you remember everything that happens during the dark hour. Mm -hmm. It's like trading away your innocence. In exchange for power, you can no longer look away from the things you don't want to see. A little bit. So, I guess I'm stuck with you guys, huh? Oh, don't act like yep. you don't love us. <laughs> now that that's settled, let's get back. Mm -hmm. She feels you're being watched. Recall she decided to return. Your second morning at Yakushima. You're going with the other girls to see a large 
Krypton Miriam tree? Considered a World Heritage Site. All right. Ah, <sighs> the air is so fresh. What the fuck kind of tree is that? I never thought a walk in the woods could be so enjoyable. Yo, I would die out there. You can't do there. this in Iwatodai. I would die. <laughs> I, yo, my inhaler would be in my <laughs> mouth the entire time, just. <gasps> <laughs> oh, so listen to this. Junpei was acting like such a pervert yesterday, and I didn't know how to react. It's probably a good thing we came out here by ourselves. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Puka. I appreciate you trying. So we received an incoming call. Mitsuru speaking. One moment, let me switch over to speakerphone. Please continue. Well, I'm at the lab here on the island. Mm-hmm. And a machine that was considered inoperable suddenly left the facility on its own. A machine? A machine? Mm-hmm. What kind of machine is it? I need detailed information to locate anything other than shadows. It's a combat vehicle, an anti-shadow weapon to be precise. A combat vehicle? You mean like a tank? We gotta let the others know. Where's my cell? We're not currently with the others, so it might take some time for us all to assemble. I see. Well, regardless, I want you to handle this as soon as possible. I'm on my way there now. If the target cannot be captured, do we have permission to destroy it? <laughs> I highly doubt you'll be able to destroy it. What? Then how are we supposed to stop it? Just do your best. I'll call you again later. Why'd you call it a vehicle? <sighs> Great. No one's answering. Don't worry about it. Let's go back and get our equipment. Then we can have Yamagishi's persona scan the area. Although this island is quite large. Jeez, where could they be? I think this is the part where in the per with the male protagonist, Junpei, Akihiko. Yeah, I think yeah, I think that's exactly what this part is. Junpei, Akihiko, and Protag, uh, Makoto, that's his name, in are at the beach trying to hit on chicks, and they are just striking out hard, like super hard. And then you see a girl just kind of standing by the pier. And that girl is the combat vehicle, by the way. Why did he call it a vehicle? Meanwhile, Yakushima Breach. Yep, Junpei and Akihiko are there. Huh? Are the girls not up yet? Man, what lazy bones. The ocean's not gonna sit around and wait for us, you know? You're right. Once the sun sets, the water temperature drops, tiring you out much faster. Huh? Uh, I guess. Is that what you're worried about? That reminds me. One of the maids gave me a letter as we were leaving. Well, hey, Junpei! The letter Yokohi was holding is now Junpei's head. Ah, no buts! I ain't letting any love letters from a lovely maid slip through my fingers. Ah, oh, how dumb can you get? Ah, let's see here. This says we've gone to see the Joman Cedar Tree. Huh? It looks like Fuka's handwriting. Oh, man. We're at an island resort in the middle of summer. Why don't they go to the beach? That's just not right. Oh. Well, it is your fault. What do you mean? I, I just wanted to lighten up the mood. I don't want to hear it. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. We're on our own now. Just the guys. If you're out of ammo, you pick it up on the battlefield. That's one of the most basic military tactics. I don't, I don't think that's how that works. We'll call this Operation Babe Hunt. Oh, I remember uh, this was animated. There was a movie that this was animated around. And as Jupe is explaining all this, Makoto looks down and sees a crab. It starts like inching towards it, like side scooting towards it. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that crab. Babe Hunt? You mean like pick up girls? What do you think, Akihiko-san? With you on the squad, we're guaranteed to succeed. Nah, I'll pass. Oh, scared you're gonna lose? What? Hey, I'm not judging you. Most guys would rather back down than lose. All right, we're doing this. Baited. Okay, with Mitsuru and our leader gone, I'm in command. Huh? The loser buys dinner at Hagakure when we get back home. Commence the operation. Yo. Loser? What do you mean, loser? Baited. Wait, we're gonna go hit on him separately? <laughs> Fucking baited. Hi there, miss. Oh no. You wanna hang out? 
Oh, I see. You're here with your boyfriend. I want to see if they still included the one scene. Uh, hey there. Oh. Say, do you know the most efficient swimming oh. technique? The butterfly stroke uses God, your leg strength to... Oh, I... I see. Oh. <clears throat> Need someone to oh, rub sunblock on your hard to reach areas? The, the cringe. The oh, cringe. don't worry. I'm really good at it. Huh? Uh, you're trying to get a tan? Oh. I'm in the way? Oh, excuse me then. Oh. Mm. All right, Junpei. What's going on here? What do you mean? That indirect approach of yours isn't going to help you score. What? So you're saying I should use cheesy come-ons like yours? Oh. Honesty is the best policy. I mean, who wants to listen to a guy drone about muscles and... <coughs> What's up? You see something? So... There she is. So... <laughs> In the anime, right? Or in the... It's an OVA, I believe. Whoa. Uh, Junpei goes first, and she's like, nope, go away. And he just kind of crawls back, dejected. Akihiko tries, nope, go away, crawls back, dejected. And then Makoto goes over, again, your male pro tag goes over, and she's like, you're the one, and like, falls all over him effectively. To which the guys are like, yo, what the fuck? Talk about and you'll the see best why soon. Last. Now that's what I'm talking about. Man, she's cute. I agree. This is our last chance to make up for failures. All right, here I go. Hey. Hey, how's it going? I noticed you've been uh, staring at the ocean. So, um. Uh, do you come here often? My name's J J J Junpei. Where is it? Ju Ju Junpei? Who is your voice actress? Persona 3. Alright, Persona 3, behind the voice actor. It is. It's been Karen Strassman since her inception. Let's see, what has she done? She is... Oh, she's Soy Fawn from Bleach. And as well as a bunch of other characters. Oh god, she was in High Guardian Spice. She's Rouge the Bat. Has she always been Rouge the Bat? Uh... No, she's been Rouge the Bat since 2010? So let's see. Originally, Rouge the Bat was Lonnie Manella. Then in the cartoon, it was Kathleen Delaney. And then from 2010 onwards, it's been Kara Strassman. Let's see. She is... Oh, Fatina from Pokemon. Callan from um, Code Geass. Helen Douglas in Dead or Alive. There's a Subway Surfers cartoon? Oh no, it's a short. Okay. Uh, okay, sure. Ha! <laughs> She's Tosca 9 in Lawbreakers. <laughs> she she played one of the people who got pieced out in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Stardust Crusaders. Oh, she's Sky from Shantae. Neat. Oh, she's Palm from Hunter Hunter. Neat. And Nophilia from uh, Bravely Seconds. She's also a couple of voices in Fire Emblem Fates. She's Poison in Street Fighter V. Oh, she also, she's also Nanako from Persona 4. Has she been always? Yeah, she's also always been Nanako. Huh. Go figure. What else? What else? What else? She was Elizabeth the first in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Uh... Oh, she's the tennis chick at the start of Kill la Kill. Has she been poisoned for all this time too? So, 
So originally it was Lonnie. Again, funnily enough, it was actually Lonnie Manila in um, from 1999's Final Fight Revenge. But from 2012 onwards, it's been Karen. It's Oh, she's Arya and Killer Instinct. Neat. All right, let's do one more, and then we will cut back. Nope. Oh. She's both Katana and Melina in Mortal Kombat 9. How about the, the later ones? Wow, Katana keeps bouncing back and forth. That's weird. Yo, Katana's been one, two... Three, four. Wait, why they changed her for eleven? Yeah, in nine and a in nine and ten, she was Karen, and then she was Kari Walgren in eleven. Strange. Has she always been Melina though? Nope. Switched over to Kari Walgren for Melina as well. Interesting. But yeah, so yeah, she's done a lot of voices. Neat. Good for her. Anyway. Uh, oh, not blatantly I, clear. She's I just also want to talk. she's also gonna be an important character, cause duh. I mean, I mean, it's more fun than standing here all by yourself, isn't it? I just realized they actually deleted a pretty kind of fucked up scene. So there was um in the original Port of Persona Three, there's a scene where they almost scored with a random beach chick. I think it was Junpei who almost scored before someone noticed that it was actually a trans. Uh, it was uh, she was trans, and they're like, uh, and just backed I out. I am looking for a human. Oh uh, uh, yeah. You are not the one. There it is. Ouch. Wow, he got shot down faster than I expected. Ouch. Oh, the disrespect. <sighs> She's a tough one, senpai. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Akihiko, no. Akihiko, no. Don't, don't do this well, yourself. hello there. Say, uh, do you like the ocean? Is your question directed at me? Oh, uh, uh yeah. I, I like the ocean, too. Hey, I heard that uh, triathletes who train at the beach perform better than those who practice indoors. Makes sense, doesn't it? That type of information is irrelevant to me. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I won. I talked to her longer than you did. <laughs> it doesn't matter how long you talk to her. Yo! <laughs> Ugh, this sucks. <laughs> Yo. Hey, stop crying. You're making me feel bad. Yo! Huh? She looks surprised for some reason. What's she looking at? Hmm. Uh, she took off. It wasn't because of us, was it? Who knows? Wait, she's heading into the forest. Isn't it dangerous for a skinny girl like her to wander around all alone in there? She Why? Anything you think there skinny. might be bears or something? I... I don't know about that, but... We should go after her. Yomon Sugi Forest. You become se separated from Yukari and the others. You sense a strong gaze, more powerful than before. Hi. It's a girl. You must be the one who's been watching you. Hello? I was correct. I have found you. She suddenly embraced you. I have been searching for you. My highest priority is to be with you. It's like she, it doesn't seem like she wants to let go. <laughs> there she is. Wait, what? What's going on here? Junpei and Akiyo have arrived. Even then, it doesn't seem like she plans on letting go. I see. So that's her preference. <laughs> Akihiko! Well, that explains why we got the cold shoulder. Akihiko! <laughs> there you are. Junpei! What are you doing here? We've been looking all over for you. Um, what are you doing in the middle of the woods? In your swimsuits? You have no idea what we've... Huh? Why is she hugging you? She says I'm her priority. What? Listen, we've encountered a problem. I'm sorry to interrupt your vacation, but I need you all to go back to the house and prepare for battle. 
That won't be necessary. We found what we were looking for. Even Ikuski has arrived. What do you mean? Oh, you had me worried. You don't have permission to leave the lab on your own, I guess. I know. The girl answered while still hugging you. Here is your family Yakushima mansion. Reception room. I apologize for all the trouble. Everything is under control now. So, what happened to capturing the tank? Oh, that's been taken care of. Come here, I guess. Coming. The girl you just met walked in. This is Igus. As you can see, she's a mechanical maiden. Why they... Okay, so... I, I get the whole point of making a robot that can use... Uh, have power to defend themselves. Why'd they make her look like a maiden? I am Igus. My mission is to destroy shadows. Also to toast toast. That, trust me, that'll make sense later on. I have been assigned to seize. Effective immediately. <sighs> no way. It's like she's alive. This is also probably the most well-known character in this, in Persona 3. She is a lot of people's waifu. This is unbelievable. She's so cute, but she's a robot. And what are you, a coward, you pay? Anti-shadow weapons were created 10 years ago to combat uncontrollable shadows. Igust was the last to be made, and she's the only one that still remains today. <laughs> An anti-shadow weapon? Does that mean she... Spoilers, yes, but no. Yes, I am capable of operating the persona Palladian. She suffered major damage in combat and has remained in the lab ever since. It's still unclear as to why she suddenly reactivated herself this morning. Well, I hope you will all get along. And this is amazing. I didn't mean to double tap either, my bad. Um, by the way, when I saw you earlier, it seemed like you knew her. Yes, it is very important for me to be by her side. Hmm. Perhaps her identification system is malfunctioning. Spoilers, it's not. Uh, um, I guess and the main character have a relationship. Uh, the main character just doesn't know it. She does. Or maybe she's still half asleep. This is quite interesting. Hmm. I don't think it's that. Well, I can ponder this later. Oh, I forgot to tell you all. You can participate in a wide range of recreational activities here. There's a tennis court, a pool table, even a karaoke machine. Would you care to hear me sing? <laughs> no. Uh... No. I'm sorry, my man. No. No. Day three of your vacation at Yakushima. You came to the beach with everyone, including I. Man, it's already the third day of our trip. It's too bad we have to go home tomorrow. I'd totally stay longer if I could. But I can't complain. A lot of cool things happened while we were here. How can he be so full of energy? We were all up so late last night. Do we have a mission at the beach today? Nah, it's nothing like that. We just came here to have some fun. Do you understand what it means to have fun, I guess? Of course. Recreation is the refreshment of one's mind and body. Exactly. Well, you sure know a lot about us humans. All right. Let's take one last dip before we leave. Junpei ran to the water's end, dragging Igus Uh, off. hold on, Junpei-kun. Is it okay for Igus to go in the ocean? Oh, I'm sure she's waterproof. Only Igus returned. What's wrong, Igus? It is best that we all engage in this activity together. An activity in which only one person derives enjoyment is not the optimal method to have fun. Ugh, do we have to? By her words earlier, Yukari's having fun in the water with Igus. We should join them. Okay. Kuka Mitsuru also joined in. Are you enjoying yourself? We've been quite busy during our time here. But it looks as if we can relax a bit today. I hope so. Hey, Akihiko-san, come on! It's your turn! My turn? What are they doing? 
<laughs> I'm glad to see everyone is having so much fun. I've already told you what time the ship will be arriving tomorrow, yes? I'll most likely head over to the port early, so don't be late. Okay, I'll let everyone know. We can get back down to business again once we're back at the door. Got it. This again? I guess we should go too. I guess wait! That's not what water gun means! Junpei kun is down! Alright, here's no, my chance No, they're about to curb stop him! Attack! Oh no, I'm attacking! Whoa, 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 time out! I no. seriously can't take much more of this! Obviously she didn't pull out her- well, I don't think she pulled out a real good- I hope she didn't pull out a real good. But I can just imagine her, like, scooping up a massive amount of water into, like, a water cannon in her arm and just firing away at Junpei. <laughs> You had fun with your friends in Yakushiro. It's always joy. Things are likely to get more uh, live here. Hey, and that's five of C's. Your power to create personas of the floor Kana, has grown. Seize determination battle has been enhanced. Party members cannot take a fatal blow for you in battle. When you receive a blow that will otherwise kill your allies, will take the hit for you during battle. Yakushima vacation has ended. Return to the building. Late night at the Tatsumi Port Island back alley. The folks at the hangout are whooping it, are whooping it up as usual. Sinjiro is sitting by himself, away from the group. <sighs> Three dark figures approach Shinjiro. You seem to be in great pain. You guys. Ah shit, it's them. You mean those three? Wow, they're freaky. Shut up, let's go! Left the hangouts. Why do they always run and hide when I approach? They're like back alley rats. Beats me. Jin, give him the capsules. <laughs> Smart little guy handed Sinjiro something. Thanks. I'll pay you the same as. Hold up. This time, information will suffice. Your acquaintances have been busy lately. I'm referring to their activities on nights when the moon is full. They spent a great deal of time in the tower as well. Why did they take this burden upon themselves? <laughs> you do know, don't you? But you don't wish to say. Is it because they are your friends? No, I've got nothing to do with them. Then tell us. Wouldn't you agree these pills are more important than a bunch of strangers? Huh. <laughs> I don't know the details, but supposedly if you destroy all those creatures, then the tower will disappear, and with it the Dark Hour. You mean, they intend to eliminate the Dark Hour? Why would they do such a thing? With the power they have... What? They wish to destroy the Tower of Demise as well? Tower of Demise? Who wouldn't want to take out that damn tower? Easy, Takaya. Yes. The three left. <laughs> I can't go back. Not after what happened. Things are starting to come together. Man, I'm beat. It would take forever to get back. Yeah, it was a tiring trip. Please rest up and be ready for the next operation. Yeah, yeah. I don't have any plans for summer break, so I can fight shadows all you want. Oh, you must be really bored. Sh shut up, Yukatan. Whatever. We beat those last six, it'll all be over. The loss will get better, everything will go back to normal, right? That's why we had to try our hardest. Hello, I guess. So these are your lodging quarters? Very well, I should be by your side at all times. She's still far from passing as human. She is unable to understand ordinary feelings and conversation at the moment. If you're able to do that, you may be able to create a bond with her. So she's another one of the social links. You gotta wait until later before you can actually start, like, fully accessing. Because, yeah. Well, we can go to the mall. Because there's no cat to tell us we can't, so. Wait a second. Did I fuck up? Give me a second. Oh, I did fuck up. Whoops! Nah, that's fine. It's A okay. Hey, Tony. 
Are you already free at the moment? If so, I can teach you a valuable life free of chores. Yes. Let's talk. Oh, I you're enthusiastic. I forgot to check our rank shit. Why are they a king? Oh. So. came to my uh, for donation. She was the kind of girl that men dream of. Drop dead gorgeous. I'm sorry to say it, but she looked pretty good to you. But no matter how attractive she is, I was repulsed by her dedication to charity work. Are you gonna donate? Of course not. I hate the very word. Why should I give my hard earned money to a bunch of freeloaders? I pulled myself up the squalor I get where I am today. In fact, I earned the right to laugh at those who used to laugh at me. That's what I had always dreamt of. But to tell you the truth, now I have too much money. Profits are booming, but I'm so busy I don't have time to spend a dime. Maybe I should train someone to take my place. I could teach them about my business philosophy, and help them master my management techniques. I could create a carbon copy of me. It would probably cost me a fortune, but it works. I can sit back and relax my massage chair. How about it? If I become my successor, I'll even let you join the Taka, uh, the Tanaka family. Not just work, I'll even take care of your wedding. Just kidding. I'm sure you'll obtain something even bigger than my company. If I say it, it's for sure. That's sweet. It's kind of fucked up the first part, but that, that's what I look like. Though. I got faith in you that you'll succeed. It's sweet. Going to the unfortunate children, huh? Literally deal with the devil. What's the point of having two days of school and then why? Good morning. Please wake up. Can we please? You've awakened safely. We... Mission complete. First creepy random children and now a robot girl. I mean, depending on who you ask, the waking up to the robot girl is fine. Then again, uh, you know what? I'm not even going go down that line. I'm not even going go down that other line. I'm just going to stop and we're just going to move on. Did my alarm go off? It has not triggered yet. The paper on the wall says, do things five minutes early. Therefore, I woke you up five minutes in advance. Hey, are you awake? That girl disappeared and we can't find her anywhere. Think you can help us out? She might have gone out on her own, like she did in Yakushima. I am not a girl. I am Igis, and I am here. Huh? H Igis? How did you... She was asleep, so I unlocked the door. That's unlawful entry. Didn't we tell you to stay in the command room at night? I propose to be on standby in this room from now on. Is this acceptable? Where is this coming from all of a sudden? If there is a problem, then I will address it promptly. Uh, well, you're both girls, so if she doesn't mind, I guess it's okay. She freaks out a lot more if you're the male, because it's like, why do you know? You guys should have a girl in your room the entire night. It's no. It'll be pretty crowded in here, though. Are you okay with that? Yeah, it's fine with me. Huh? You're okay with that? I mean, she's just gonna stand in the corner and just well, watch. Well, I guess this'll be Igus's room too from now on. I will proceed to retrieve my equipment. Is it all right to place the spare ammunition on the floor? No! Ammo? No, no way! But I must be by her side. Oh well. I'll have a room prepared for you on the third floor so you can stay nearby. Oh, and don't leave the dorm by yourself, okay? I will do as commanded. <sighs> I'm tired. I have practice this morning, so I gotta go. Yukari shrugged. Everyone left. goes to a place called school in the morning. Mm -hmm. I comprehend. Exams results will be posted today. There's a box in my room. It's a delivery for a TV. Hey. Thank you. Hey, I was thinking. I don't even know the shadows of the Dark Hunter series. What's gonna happen then? I don't know. Well, right people don't even know about the Dark Hunter, right? That means no one will ever know anything we've done. Kinda sucks, don't you think? Eh. Doing the right thing is rewarding itself. Hey, the results are posted. You decided to go look at the exam results. You scored the highest in your class. Everyone's looking at you with respect. I don't give a fuck about charm. I only remember something. The zero promised to give you a gift you scored the highest. You talked to her school when she was at school. Lunch time is over, you decide to go back to the classroom. Alright. Uh, social. 
All right, we should be able to work on lovers. Do I have a lover persona on me? I do not. All right. Let's go on the map. Over to the mall. I don't have any new requests yet, right? No. Still need to go to the third for all that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I need to go by 8 4 to do these things. Understandable. I got time, though. I have time. More importantly, though, let me try to future persona. Can I make a lover's. No. 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 How dare I not remember all these combinations, right? That's clearly on me. Alright. No. Oh, no, that's 2039. Nope. Nope. Okay. Let's check the compendium. Oh, not registered. I need to search for one. I need to get a lover's please. That's a quote. I'll take this. Yes, I will. Thank you. Nope, I'm good. Bye. And back to school. Back to the classroom. We got high. Classroom. And lovers. Are you by yourself? You should walk home together. How do you else? Oh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. I'm not sure if it matters or not, but still. Yes. Cool. Wonder stuff this work? Yes. Yes, I will. Let's see. What shop are you carry? I'm going to check out this. I don't know. How about you pick a pair of them? Let's get a matching set. That would be cool. Well, your ears aren't even pierced. Why don't you get a new choker? I think you... What's the point of a choker? These ones too. Why don't we get a match? Card? I never understood the point of a choker for anything besides just... You know, again, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep going. Hang on, I have a phone call. Hello? Uh-huh. What? You're not? We need to forgive you. Don't do that. Do, do what you want to do. That's what I meant. That's what you want. Then go ahead. I don't care. So don't worry about me. Huh? You want to get together and talk about it? Stop. Don't cry. I'll call you later, okay? Alright, bye. That was my mom. I can't pause for everything that happened. She just won't get remarried until I forgive her. Crap. Stop shaking. She said, I'm sorry until she comes in. She wants to see me, but I'm really nervous. I mean. Grr. Do you want to see her? I'm only who asked to meet. I'm afraid it might get ugly. We haven't seen each other in almost 10 years, so it's not going to be easy. When I see her, I might get angry and say something cool. But I'm probably talking about time I talk. It's probably about time I talk to her. Nothing will change if I just run away. Deep down inside, I think she's still Mrs. Dad. She couldn't handle it. Losing someone to comfort her. That's why she needs someone to lean on. I think that losing someone you love is having to be alone is really hard. It's hard to explain, but I realized this when we when I started growing up. I was afraid of losing someone close to me, so I tried to avoid getting close to anything. Mom just wanted to forget that fear. She's weak, but I won't look down on her. Mom and I are the same. Hey, look at that. Look at you, Kari, becoming a better person. Nice. Well then, I'll go look at some accessories. Hey, you want to get some friendship rings? How about yours? You buy mine. Just make sure you get a, get a guy to buy you one that goes on your ring finger. <laughs> oh, you, Kari. Hi, how was your day? Can't yeah, complain. How'd you do on your exams? Not bad. That's great. I'm happy for you. You seem to seriously have my scoring? Wow, she's amazing. In two weeks, then we will be full again. Because those freaks of the apathy syndrome will be everywhere. Wait, I mean the lost. I wish I complained about them since it's not their fault. Those damn shadows. It's possible to end this. Six shadows remain. If we eliminate them all, the dark hour will vanish. That's true. What are you trying to say, I Is that fighting is more important than studying, right? I 100% agree, 100%. Yeah, okay. How'd you do at your finals? You did poorly. You had to attend summer school. 
like, hey, fine. That's very good. Let's see how the others did. I think I had to talk to her at school. Alright. Can do this. And there's the freak people again. Anyway, not my problem. Voice actor, I am not. <laughs> uh, it's fine. It's fine. Yes, I will spend time with him. Hey, what a strange kid. I was thinking you might show up, and here you are. Hey, don't get me wrong, kid. I'm not like I'm looking for a senior or anything. Oh my god, you endure ass motherfucker. So your skin's shiny. What you putting on? It's damn bright. Well, in terms of brightness, your head ain't won't lose. Why don't you give it a try? The bald look. I've always wanted to try that. I like the earnest answer, kid. Looks like you get 20% of what I'm saying. I'm not talking about fashion here. I'm saying you're better off without your hair. I mean, you're young and good looking, but just wait. I mean, look at me. I'm old and ugly. My cheeks sag like a dying bulldog. That's life, kid. If people get old someday, you'll just get old as me. You look in the mirror and think, those were the days. Here's a little trick so you don't lose hope in the future. Just don't expect nothing. Simple, eh? That way you won't ever be disappointed. You'll keep turning it into bones one day, so why bother with that at all now? If you weren't so wet behind the ears, I would have had more of an adult conversation. I wish you would have been 10 years old when I met you. Oh, uh, thanks. Not gonna lie, as someone who like prefers having a shaved head, I get the bald thing. I definitely get the bald thing. Dude, being bald is just so much easier. Oh, no fucking upkeep of the shit. It's great. Uh, what are you talking, putting me to sleep? Ah, well, you can't sleep here, kid. Go home. All right. We are almost done with the confidant. Summer break starts tomorrow, so to meet some cute to the beach. Good luck to you. Oh, come on, this is all to you too, you know. Who knows what might happen for you during your summer break? Keep that attitude up, you're gonna miss out all the opportunity to meet somebody. You cannot date Junpei under any circumstance. Because reasons. Please take your seat. Solve it. The regular series is falling ill, so be substitute for today. Yeah, sure. Sure, he's falling ill. Man wanted to start a summer vacation early is what happened. Falling on my ass. That's what happens when you let yourself get carried away. Today I'll give you an introductory lesson on alchemy, a branch of magic folks on a team. Do you like money? Of course you do. Who else does? In human nature to want one, uh, to, to want what one doesn't have. There's no escaping it. Long before the days of King and Midas, who sought to create great gold from base elements, it wasn't their dream to gain gold from Midas by touching things. Oh my god, dude, dude. I recently, not recently, but about a year ago, I read the story of King Midas, and I always thought it was the concept of, oh, this greedy king uh, would uh, swindle people and was greedy, so the gods cursed him to everything he touched turned to gold. No, that's not what happened. The original story of King Midas was that he actually helped a god. Literally, a god was in, uh, let, me, let me see if I can find the exact story context, so I don't like misremember this. Let's see. Oh, the golden touch. Contradictory stories. Okay, yeah. So, uh, Dionysus found out that his old school master and foster father, the satyr Selenius, was missing. And the oldest satyr was drinking wine and wandered away drunk. So a bunch of peasants brought him to the king. So the king was like, oh yeah, I'll be hospitable to him, and entertained him for 10 days and night nights with politeness. While uh, delighted, and Selenius was delighted that Midas and his friends with stories and songs. The 11th day, he took uh, Selenius back to D Dionysus. Dionysus then offered him a choice of whatever reward he wished. So then he, whatever he touched would be changed into gold. <laughs> so he was literally cursed. He was a good person and helped a dude, and he got cursed for it. Like, that's so fucked up! What was the point of this story? Is it just to say gods are assholes? Because that's what it seems to be. Rather than conceive or convert cheap metals such as iron or uh, in person gold, that is alchemy. Whatever they're set to for creating the science, and certainly the alchemy has to do with history. The concept of alchemy originated in Greek philosophy. Around 580, it was further uh, developed in uh, Arabia. 
which became the center of alchemic studies. The science later gained popularity in Europe as well. An interesting little known branch of alchemy was created in China called Renten Jutsu. The form of alchemy seeks to make an elixir of mortality than a magic recipe for gold. Either way, the most important substance in the practice of alchemy is mercury or quicksilver. It was thought that mercury could be used to create the philosopher's stone, which turn and generate gold. Alchemists perform endless research using various kinds of equipment and experimental methods. People uh, today, people believe that if not for alchemists' uh, trial and error, there would be no chemistry as we know it. But there's no indication that the philosopher's stone was ever actually used. In a way, it's one of the greatest tragedies of world history. Now, alchemy has been influenced in psychology. Carl Jung, among others, thought that the creation of philosopher's stone is related to the human mind. Jung believed that the process of psychotherapy is similar to the way a philosopher's stone would work. Oh no, stay awake. In conclusion, I think it's a shame to give up on alchemy when we could have come so far. It's better for younger ghosts to strive for unusual goals than to, that might lead more exciting lives. Dude, former teacher, I can't fuck out of that. After all, from the perspective of ancient people, modern science may as well be magic or alchemy. If you work very hard, you might be able to discover your own form of magic. But I think that would be due for now. Enjoy your uh, summer. Dude, like realistically go showing i don't think a lot of people back in the day would be impressed by by certain parts like uh okay obviously they'd be impressed by telephone but if you told people back then oh yeah we can basically preserve food for almost ever in little tiny metal cans wait you have metal of that abundant and you can just preserve food forever holy shit about the club do you know about the fellowship we'll be doing on the middle school You'll get to play volleyball at the school in the countryside. Imagine the fresh air. And at night, there'll be delicious food and a hot spring. See, doesn't this sound just wonderful? In two days from now, you practice here for a week, then leave for other schools. Don't forget, okay? I was conscripted. I think the club will be meeting at school two days from now. I have been conscripted. End of the first semester. Summer break begins tomorrow. Is that really how schools work in Japan? Where it's just kind of like one semester and it starts in summer? Anyway. Show me. So you're saying rules. Here, this is from the chairman. You were effectively balancing school and battle. Night card set. In addition, you gave tame the. Ooh, thank you. Heading home? Yeah, I want to come. Sorry, I'm busy. Here for a while. Come back later. Don't worry about your studies. I know the other things are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was a very important to her. Perhaps if you were a genius, you might be able to hang out with her. Ah, so that's what I need to get to. All right, I'm actually going to si Oh wait, I can't yet. I can't yet. I can't yet. I can't yet. If I go back to the dorm, it automatically ends day. So instead, we are going to hang out with Luca. We don't have a priestess persona, right? So we need to go get a priestess persona. We need to go get a priestess persona. And also, it is still on beginner for the yes for the mana for the money gains instead so I have enough to be able to get a person on the top map. Oh man, it's toasty in this fucking room. Oh right, and while I'm at it, let me go to the Port Island Station and finish feeding the cat. I believe this is the last time I should need to feed them. Meow, it's hungry, it's for cat food. Eat, meow, meow, meow. Hey, hey, there we go. Boom. And now we can head to here, get a priestess persona. Open, yep. Check. It seems you could do quest. One more while I check. You were able to feed the hunger cat? Thank you. I can feel relief in the very cockles of my heart. That's weird. I find similarities between you and cats. That's why I can bear to see class in the golden collected. Okay. Um, yes, I would like to, well, first, let me see if I can fuse a priestess persona. Probably not, but I still need to check anyway. Nope. Nope. Uh, nope, that's 35. Nope. And nope. 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 And nope. 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 And nope. Nope. And nope. Nope. Just try normal fusion. No. 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 And no. Okay. We'll just get one back. Priestess, 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 priestess. Is it still just unicorn? Are you kidding me? Jesus Christ, dude. Anyway, let's get you back then. 
God, it's been oh. so long since we've gotten a priestess persona, apparently. The next one is just 35. Anyway, put you back to school. Hi. Second floor classroom. And there's Puka. Just to make sure we are cool with Puka, right? Yes. Okay. Let's hang. Keep Tony Chan. We can move to the cutting club today. Yes. Yes, I should. Alright. Yeah, the story team minus is fucked up as shit. Because it's like, wait a second. You weren't a bad person. No, you were being good. So I'm actually confused what the fucking story is here. What's the point of this story? Is it saying you should just be a dick to people? Fuck! <laughs> I'm mad. Or is the story just saying that the Greek gods are just assholes? Because I think that's what the story is. Hey, what are you trying to do today, Tony Chan? I found this new cookbook today. Very sweet are in the book that Puga brought up for today. Based on the ingredients, you had to, you know, you decided to make cupcakes. You think I can make something that difficult? Make it together. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm, I think it's, I think it's for the best. Let me show you know if I can do something wrong. First, I need to sip the flour, right? Start dumping sugar into the sifter. Oh, that's sugar. Oh, oh, you're right. It was what? I thought it was flour. Thank you for stopping me. I'll sift it into the bowl and then mix butter in. Use my hands to mix it. I know that you use that, use your hands when you're making hamburger patties. You use a whisk. Oh yeah, I see. It was stuck in my hands when I did that. You had some leftover bananas, so you tried mashing them in, even though the recipe didn't call for it. You poured the batter into the cups. All you need to do now is bake them. A, a light, sweet smell permeates from the room. I'm surprised you were able to influence like that. Whenever I try that, you did, your, you did your best, fam. You did your best. Four times. Thanks. That's delicious. I'm so happy that I was able to make something so difficult. So thank you, Tony. Together, you overcame a difficult task. Hey, nice. Buka Yamagishi. I'm gonna take my sh uh, share of home and enjoy them later. I don't want to enjoy them all at once. I wish they'd last forever. An anaconda. You give them to someone you go out on your days off, it might make them happy. Yeah. Alright. Sorry this episode dragged on so long, but I just couldn't reach it. Oh my god, it's still going. Three figures in her. Good evening. I'm glad to see that you're well. Here's the pills. Incidentally, I see that they've again added a new ally to their ranks. Well, I suppose it's more of a pet than an ally. Makes no difference to me. It seems that what you told us before about their intentions was true. How'd you How know? lamentable. Now we have no choice but to intervene. It is up to each individual how he will use the strength granted him. But to erase the dark hour would be denying the very power they possess. Spoilers. Because of just how powerful the Persona 3 characters are, they can actually use their personas even outside of dark hour. We cannot tolerate that. Do whatever you want. Hold it. What are you going to do? I know they asked you to come back. You're starting to piss me off. They're going down, you hear me? And if you're on their side, then you're going down too. Like I said before, it doesn't concern me. Hello. Hey. My name is Ken Amada. I've been staying here for a while. I'll try to stay out of everyone's way, so don't mind me. Most contentious character in the game. Either way, reach a good stopping point. Sorry for dragging this on so long, but eh, that's just life sometimes. Either way, I want everyone out there to have a good morning, evening, day, or night. Rebby rap. But for right now, I am out. Later. Hell now, no man can run.